Um, after further inspection, I uh, came across some something for you guys. Look at this. Chaplin. You know, I thought he's not going to be a good Pokemon. But look at him now. I'd say he's the very best. Oh. Look at that. Dragon Dance, Acrobatics, and Wing Attack, and Dragon Paws. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm Youngster Jake, aka Probic Team and Victor Mass himself. Welcome back to episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield. In the last episode, we arrived at Hammerlock City, or just, I guess it is called Hammerlock, and we explored it, and we found some very, very useful items, such as the Focus Sash, and where you can buy rare candies. Then, uh, I thought we would conclude the episode there. But, uh, we stumble upon the, uh, Hammerlock Vault, and, uh, we are here today, and I wanna know, let you guys know, you're not able to leave this place. If you want to leave, he's just like, nope, you're here to check all the vaults, so you're stuck here. Essentially, we're kidnapped. How do I feel about this? I'm not too sure, but let us find out what is so important of this secret vault. If you're liking Pokemon, this Pokemon Stone Shield cover so far, aka the Pokemon Stone Shield Marathon, Please be sure to leave that like button some love. He's feeling lonely right now. He's sad. Just give him some love. But uh, anyway, let us actually see what this vault is about because I'm quite curious to see why we're locked inside of here, first of all. Like, why can we not leave? Why is it such an important thing that we cannot go outside for a few seconds just so I can go to a tutorial real quick? But uh, nope. Oh, I, I get it. It's with this TM right here. TM29 Charm. Thank you. I, uh, I'll, I, I know I'm gonna use this against my girl Sonya, but I, I don't know. I feel like we got enough charms, so uh, I don't think it's necessary to do that, right? Do do that, da da. Okay, let us see what is inside this vault now. Oh. Okay, okay, it's Sonya. We got charm right here. Let us go use it against you. Just kidding. Oh, we are here? Brilliant, aren't they? It's great that there are still treasure tapestries that can tell us about uh, Galar's history. These tapestries tell the story of the creation of the kingdom in the Galar. Say, young gym challenger, what sticks out to you most of them? I want to say the darkest thing. I'm quite interested in this. Are you talking about the war that happened in Galar? Right, that's got to be it. The star of the black star that blotted out the skies was passed on through the years as a tale of disaster. That's what the darkest thing is. Was I really only one here, or in there too? I won't even cause the darkest day. Thanks for letting me balance some ideas off you. I think I've got some theories now. I'm gonna reach the top as you should tap more, but you have your own gym challenge, right? I'm cheering for you, so take a couple of these. I hope to see more of your wins. Oh, you will, Sonya. As long as you cheer me on, baby, we got a lot more where that's coming from, that's for sure. Anything hidden around here? Oh. The tapestry shows a scene in which the youths are being crowned. Which youths? Are you talking about like the king and prince? Or the king and queen? I mean not king and prince. Maybe it could be king and prince. I don't know. I can't really like it looks like a, a man and a, like a, a younger man. Like a, you know. Could be a king and prince honestly. But let, uh, let's see what else is in this. Is that it? Is that why we can't leave? It's because we had to go on a day with Sonya. I'm okay with that. I now understand, buddy. You, you were trying to get us to get like get with Sonya, so uh, kudos to you. Thank you for being a team player, buddy, and not being a cockballer. The tapestries in the vault depict the heroes of the Gala region's past. I suppose if we got any modern hero, it'd be to be our champion, Leon. Listen up, Provoctini. Your goal is to defeat the superstar Leon, so go conquer Route 6 and train yourself up. Along the way to stow on side. All right, hopefully we don't get a stowaway. But there's something I would like to do thanks to good guy Ghastly. He is the one that found this out because I was wondering, how do I evolve my chaplain, the Applin? Well, 
Remember this guy where he was like, I won an Applin and I thought he was going to take it and we never see Chaplin again. And well, it turns out he actually does something very special for your Applin instead of just taking it. He gives you an item in order to evolve the Applin and we're going to go ahead and do that actually. So thank you, good guy, Gasly. You're a true lifesaver. I still owe you that pizza, bro. So if you see this video, which you are, I'm going to tag you with this. Let me buy you that pizza, man. Like, come on, dude. It's been almost two years. I still gotta buy you that pizza. I've forgotten why I gotta buy you pizza, but I know I owe you a pizza, bro. So let me order you that pizza, all right? Whoa, you mean you really give me an Applin? Yeah, bro. All right. We'll see you in a bit here, Chaplin. Wow, I did it. I finally got an Applin. Thank you. Thank you so much. Since you went through the trouble to give me an Applin, I've got to tell her how I feel. Ooh. I think at some point in time, we should tell Sonya how we feel. Because it's, it's been too long here. This guy's giving me the courage, too. Um, s sorry I'm late. What was it you needed to talk about so suddenly? Uh, uh, how's packing going? Uh, pretty much everything's been packed. Since I'm moving away tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, uh, check out this Pokemon. Oh, an apple. Amazing. Did you catch it? Uh, well, no, 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 no. Someone gave it to me. Uh, I'm sorry, I really wanted to give you an Applin that I caught on my own, but, well, uh, just forget it, I can't give you this Applin. Uh, you're right, I can't take it. Yeah. Even if we're separated and far away from each other, I was still waiting for an Applin for you to caught by yourself. What do you mean? Oh, dude, come on, man, you know what she means, man. All I gotta give her now is a wedding ring, and then you're good, bro. You're set for life. You got the love of your life, bro. So, uh, what do you think that was about just now? What do you think it meant that? Congratulations, man. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, does that mean what I think it means? I can't answer that, dude. That's something you gotta find on your own. Yes. Thank you. There we go. We got Apple and back. Thank you. Very happy that we got Apple and back, honestly. And we got the tart apple with that. And I guess that varies from game to game. In Pokemon Shield, you get the sweet apple, and in this game, you get the tart apple. Which is, uh, it's, uh, odd. So let's go ahead and actually give this tart apple to our, uh, to our chaplain here. Use this item. There we go, chaplain. Finally! You're evolving, dude. It's been so long, Chaplin. It's this. I know this name's not going to make sense anymore now, but he's always going to be known as Chaplin the Applin. And look how cool this guy is in the Flapple. I think I got a name for her. I think I can give Flapple the Apple. That's a good name, right? It eats our Apple and it reduces evolution in its cheeks. It stores an acid cap capability of causing chemical burns. It is a grass tiger type Pokemon. Can you learn to move now? Wing attack. All right, that's better than what we have right now, so I'll take that. Can you hopefully learn Magical Leaf? That's the next question here. Nope. So there you have it. That is how you can evolve your Chaplin into a Flapple. And I, I, let me know. Do you think that name Flapple the Apple is appropriate? If so, I'll definitely rename it. I'm going to try and rename it every time to something that rhymes with the Pokemon is evolving into. Here we are at beautiful Route 6. It is important to note that at this point in time, you should probably be around level 40 and not fainted. So, uh, we'll be RB here. Oh, it's the snake Pokemon. What is wrong? What a... What a cute little cobra. Just look at those adorable eyes. It's our duty as Team Yell to make a silly cobra get a nice, peaceful sleep. Who is this? Hello there. If I promise you to wake the Pokemon, will you let me through? Of course, it is our pleasure. Alright, well, why can't I just go through? Like, I don't want to battle you. You're always in my way, Team Yell. Come on. Oh. Oh, hey, Probertini, you're heading to Stow on side, right? Oi, Team Yell. Not your fault you lost throw. Nah, you kids are too loud. Can't believe you. Are you kidding us? We're too loud for Team Yell? How does that even make sense? All right, okay, uh, yeah. Are we battling them with Hop? 
if so i guess hop makes a return like three four episodes later i don't even know how many episodes at this point it is so we've last seen hop but i guess it's good to see you back buddy not gonna lie i missed you i may hate on you from time to time but it's good to see you and we don't battle alongside you so i guess he does not make a comeback Okay, good to know that you're still the little wimp you are, Hop. I am very, very impressed with Flapple right now. Even though he's almost like, at, yeah, he's almost dying here. But he's, he's putting in a lot of work. I feel, oh no, I don't, oh, we avoided the attack. Okay, I'll take that. Thank you, Flapple. We gotta teach you some more powerful moves, it feels like. Ooh, do I want this thing setting up? Probably not. Probably do not want this thing setting up. Oi, blimey, even your battles are too noisy. How does that even make sense? You're Team Yell. We cannot be louder than Team Yell. There's no way. I think it's Hop's fault. Think I'll leave this to your property to keep up the pace. Dude, you lost. Are you serious? Not impressed, Hop. Not impressed. This is supposed to be your debut, bro. This is supposed to be your debut. What happened? Hi, Karamba. Hi, oh, why'd you have to be uh, such a bother? Uh, I'm not. Like, you're the one bothering me here, miss. I'm just standing. Silly Cobra might wake up after all that ruckus. Then there's no point in us sticking around. Let's get out of here. We'll make these bothers some kids holler some other day. Yeah, I still gotta figure out how we're louder than Team Yell. Question of the day. Are we louder than Team Yell? If so, this comment, Yell... If we're not, to say, I, Provincini, you and Butterfree were brilliant together. See, Benny really wiped the floor with me the last time we battled. And don't get me wrong, it can take a loss, probably means you've got to lose sometimes. But he said that I was dragging the least good name through the mud, being so rubbish like I was, and I just can't get those words out of my head. If I'm weak, then people... Oh, people think Lee's awake too. All right, dude. I think it's time that we tell you something here. When I arrived in Hammerlock, I heard Beatty talk crap, and he was, he was just to get you angry, dude. Like you don't you don't get your gay okay, panties and not here, man. It's it's all good. Did you hear me? No. All right. Well, you do you. We'll catch this silly cobra and get silly with it. Nope, I guess not. I guess we don't have a chance to catch a silly cobra. Because that would be silly, right? You're one of the gym challenge endorsed by Leon, aren't you? Oh, it's... Who is this? My name's Opal. If you want to know more, have a look at my knee cord. You got Opal's knee cord. I'll keep an eye on you, child. I want to see what you can do when you go all out. All right. All right. You have a good day, Mr. Miss. Do you want me to help you cross the street there? We we can be a good Samaritan today. Should we? I feel like we go I feel like once a day you gotta do a good deed. But don't like force yourself to do it. Just like no, like, hey, I gotta do a good deed today. I should work your Pokemon is interested in your Pokemon. Okay, we can step like a double date or something, you know. You're challenged by Beauty Anita. Oh, she's got a Clefairy. Alright, Clefairy. I see you. We should go, uh. For a side beam, or no, sorry, not side beam. I was looking at side beam, but for a bug buzz here. Boom! Chuckalaka. Goodbye, the fairy. It is game over for you. Yes, spell level 35. We're getting close to the 40s here. Clefable. 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 Oh, it's so adorable. Let's go for a shockwave here. How much would that do? Would that do a lot? Because I feel like Clefable is a bit more bulkier than Clefairy is. No, we're good. Okay, this please don't be a roar time. Bite. Oh yeah, I can take a bite. Like a Kit Kat or something, or uh, you know, some nice apple pie. Flapple, make us an apple pie, broski. You know, just get some apple pie going in the house, everybody. You want an apple pie? I think you do. Yeah, you do. Tailwind. That is not gonna do anything for you. I'm just waiting for the moment for this thing to get like a roar time. Beauty Anita. Your Pokemon are way too strong. You'll be safe no matter where you go. Ah, uh, thank you. At least you got some faith in my Pokemon. I am quite scared for what's the lie ahead here. What is this Dog Chew gonna say? What is this? What is this? <gasps> Axew! Oh my 
goodness, this reminds me of Cobalt. I think it only makes sense that I capture this thing and name it Cobalt. If you don't know what Cobalt is, then welcome to the channel. Oh! No! No! Well... That was sad. We lost- we lost Axu there. Ooh, a Yan Mask. Is this the Galarian Yan Mask? Because I know there's a Galarian Yan Is it Galarian or Galarian? Yes, it is. I want to capture this thing because it looks cool. Hey there, doctors! Belling is important, but I better understand Pokemonians. Time for a checkup! Oh, please, no. I don't want no checkup, miss. Please. Yvonne, if Ev Evelyn. Alright. Togekit, okay, and we have a double battle here. I didn't think we'd see these in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Not gonna lie, that battle took quite a time to do, but we got through it. We prevailed. So now, are you able to heal my Pokemon doctors? Because they need some healing. Oh, look at that, some 7,440 Poke Dollars. <gasps> it is time, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Behold. Godzilla with a drum! <laughs> it is game over now! I am sorry if whoever's about to get in front of this Rilla Boom. He's about to make a big boom boom drum beating. Oh yeah, it is time for a beating! Look at that, he even knows it. He's like, yeah, as soon as I evolve, it's time for a beating. I can honestly imagine this guy talking in like an Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, type of tone like just be like you know I can't even I can't even intimidate it but something I want to show you guys that is uh it's quite sad actually now but something that's very very sad here go up these stairs and we're gonna try not battle lady just yet oh uh, let's no so that actually was a silly cobra but if you go up here or is it up here Somewhere around here, you'll see that if you go, actually go up the ladder, the whole world stops. And... I don't understand why the game is like that. Why, Game Freak? Why did you make it like that? There's no reason for you to... We, we're playing a game in 2019 where the animation stops when you climb up the stairs. When I climb up the stairs or up a ladder or whatever in real life, Nothing down below me stops, and I know like this is like video game, but video games have had that where that doesn't do happen anymore since I think like 1994. I came far away to watch gym challenge. I love the opportunity to battle a gym challenger. I'm like, guessing the type of Pokemon you have is gonna guess hint towards where you're from. What do you got? A shock. Oh, you're from the Sino uh, 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 region. You're from the Unova region. All right. That is fine. We are from uh, every region, but I'm from Nova too, so I know how to take care of a sock. You give it a one, two, three throw. And into your drizzle here, or uh, that's actually not going around me here. I feel like drizzle won't do anything against a sock. Anything, uh, you suck, man. You suck. Diane, my, my, my. Mio Dramatico Fantastico. I don't even know why that is, lady. That sounds like French. And I, I know I should know French because I'm Canadian. I, I learned it here, but it was just... I never, it never clicked in with me. I just feel like French is one of the languages that doesn't make any sense, honestly. I know there's people saying, like, oh, it makes sense. You just can't do it. I know I can do it. It's, to me, it doesn't make sense. And at this point in time, two fossilized dinos right there is actually where you find the two fossilized dinos. And you're able to actually switch those up between different fossils and such. Which is a very, very cool little item. Or, like, very cool little way they did it, I should say. Not cool little item. It is, it's a cool item regardless. It's a fossil. Here's another chance to catch Cobalt here. Let's see if we can capture it. I just realized that I didn't, didn't have my amulet quite equipped, nor my luck incense. So, not even listening to my own advice. So, we lost a lot of Pokey right there. At this point in time, I'm not really going to bother with the camps. Just because... I don't really know how to use them. It doesn't seem like my Pokemon like the little feather toy. I really want to use a feather toy on them, but it doesn't seem like they like it. So I'm not even going to bother at this point in time. You there. Name's Carolus. I'm researching fossils. Huh? 
Fossils and Glow are broken into top halves and bottom halves for some reason. Huh? Strangely, no matter which top and bottom you combine, they can be restored together. Huh? Perhaps the even the mystery lies the key to the understanding of these com combinable Pokemon. Huh? Alright, let's let's do it. Can I use your machine? I guess not, eh? I guess we only got one of the halves. With the magic of editing, we've now appeared on the other side with an instant. A mod who's also strong in battle. That's who I am. Well, you look you look fancy, miss. I have to admit that. Oh yeah, I'm model Nicola. You literally did Nicola Tesla. Scorpion. Alright, I can definitely see a model having a scorpion because they're mean. And they're like eating scorpions, I'm guessing. I don't know. We got nothing to use the good flapper here. Goodbye, Scorpy. It's nice seeing you. A poniard. I'll keep in with that. I'll use bug buzz against that thing. It'll buzz right out of here. Be gone, poniard. Or should I say, buzz gone. Or buzz off. <laughs> buzz off. Big Boy Toad, I feel like, is about to evolve here for some reason. I have a dirty feeling he's gonna evolve. Even if I lose who I am, and the charm of Pokemon will never fade. That is very true there, lady. Very true. Hey, I was right! Now it is time for Big Boy Toad. This is why I named him this, in case you're wondering, like, Why'd you name him, like, Big Boy Toad if he's a tiny, like, a tiny little, like, tadpole? This is why. Look at this thing. Look at this dude! The vibrating of the bombs all over his body caused earthquake-like tremors. Seismic Toad and Croaking are similar species. I get it, because they're both toads. What did I tell ya? He's about to become a big boy here. Uproar. Get rid of the uproar. We don't need to cause an uproar no more. We are the uproar. Okay, let's get this. Two rare bones. <laughs> I wonder if I can sell those, because those are actually quite a bit of money. At least they were in previous games. I think in previous games, they were like 10,000 Poké each. Which is quite a bit, or maybe 5,000 5, in Fire Red and Leaf Green. But I remember them being quite a bit. Uh, I want to shake this tree first, though. Shake it like you care. There we go. Let's shake the berry tree. Oh yeah, wiggle that. One more time. Please don't know squirrel pop out. Yes. Alright, sweet. No squirrel popped up from that. Quit. Scatter the berries here quickly before the squirrel pops out. But there are berries right now. Alright, I guess we got all of them. Rest in peace, tree. We'll, we'll plant some more later. Are you making curry? Are you filling your curry decks? No? There's a curry decks in this game? Backpacker Ruth. I'm rooting for you, Ruth. Throw. Alright, I'm guessing you and the sock backpacker are from the same region. Flapple can definitely take care of this throw. I'm gonna throw out this garbage real quick. Wing attack. Tear open that garbage. Storm throw. That's gonna hurt. We eat that up. Okay. Alright. But I think it's still time to like... Say our goodbyes for now, ch Chaplin. And go into Butterfree here. When in doubt, always use Air Slash. And I could get technical here and teach Bella... Tailwind, but I feel like for now we're just gonna keep old moves. Backpack a Ruth. The strength of your poke you and your Pokemon has made my mouth go numb. Meow, that's right. Okay. You there? Heal you up heal you up tile. Heal up tile. I don't even know how to pronounce this thing's name. We're gonna get out of this battle though, because the sun's really harsh. I don't want a rotting apple on the field. Couldn't get away. Oh no, what are you gonna full switch into here, buddy? You got nothing to full switch into. Alright, what is over here? Do we get anything for doing this? We do! It is... TM30 Steel Wing. I will take that with a smile on my face. Because I am guessing, and I'm hoping so, that Flapple can learn that. If it's not, if he's not able to, I don't know what I can teach this thing. What am I able to teach Chaplin? Can learn? Scary phase, of course. The useless move. Focus energy, alright. I don't want to learn that either. Man, oh man. This is... What am I able to teach Ch Flopple here? 
I'm starting to think that Flapple just at the end of the day might not stay on the team because there's nothing I can really do with this Pokemon at this point in time I really feel like my hands are tied I really do Don't get me wrong, he's very bulky for being a level 32. What is on your arm there? Pokemon is R2 if we have both given it our owl. Alright, but I'm more curious to see what's on your arm there. What is that? Artist Duncan? Is that a new Pokemon? I feel like that's a new Pokemon of some sort for like the next generation. I feel like that's what we're seeing here. Coughing. Ooh, neutralizing gas. Fill the area. Just going. I think. Yeah, we're just gonna go into Bella here. This point in time, I don't know if Flapple can take care of a coughing just yet. Uh, finally, your moves are beautiful. Oh my, I'm completely fascinated by them. I don't know what I did, but okay. All right. I am still curious to see what kind of Pokemon you're making there. I feel like it definitely is a new Pokemon. It's very, very odd looking. And why would he be carrying that around like it's not... This honestly reminds me of Nudokuni. I know I'm ke I keep saying that a lot, but that's one of the games I've been playing the most. Besides Pokemon Sword and Shield. And this reminds me of that, like one of the errors in Nudokuni a lot. Minus the graphical errors. That game is much more polished than this. Over here is a hidden Pokeball. It is a Dusk Stone. So that's where you get the Dusk Stone. Which is a very, very nice item. You there. Just getting here was so satisfying, I can't imagine what seeing the ruins will feel like. Um, after further inspection, I uh, came across some something for you guys. Look at this. Chaplin. You know, I thought he's not going to be a good Pokemon. But look at him now. I'd say he's the very best. Oh. Look at that. Dragon Dance, Acrobatics, and Wing Attack, and Dragon Paws. Pretty good. Pretty good. Anyway, that concludes today's Pokemon Sword and Shield episode. There should be another one uploaded later today. As always, thank you, thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. And uh, and as always, until next time, peace out. See you guys, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. Bye now.